as early as about 6 30 a.m the ghana police service had positioned themselves strategically at various places around the 37 trotro station where members of the fix the country coalition had agreed to gather in preparation for their demonstration the, um, the people the members of the fix the country campaign team started gathering there they are very early in the morning as well the police were seen around some on, on horses uh, some on motorbikes some coming come and pick up trucks and they started positioning themselves um, strategically around the 37 Trotro station uh, members of the fix the country campaign team came there they were in red black and other forms of um, demonstration paraphernalia they started gathering themselves in preparation to do the work uh, the police also were monitoring the situation walking alongside observing them making their plans in fact speak to Oliva Baker Vomawa um, just before the, the the events of the day started unfolding uh, he spoke to me about the reason why they are actually doing this demonstration it's their tenth demonstration and I asked him why they were doing this again after previous demonstration and he used the opportunity to explain our nation has lost its path and has lost its power. we don't see a future continuing on the same path it's about waking up the conscience of that it's about demanding critical constitutional reform if you have got a new constitution for a new generation it's about grounding the stake of this generation in tomorrow's and tomorrow that we can improve this democracy that provides the freedom for us we cannot continue like this this is the real essence of why we continue to speak and why we continue to send out the to awaken the conscience of the people that the promises that were made for us from the founding generation that, that they will have the blessings of liberty and prosperity we haven't seen those manifested so when we are talking about rescuing the country, what's for the country, on the rails towards those blessings that were promised us, we haven't seen that materialize. That is what we agitate for. So you don't even need to come there. It's about country. It's about the quality and substance of the democracy that we serve. That's not what we signed up for. What I am saying, and I want to be clear on this, that we don't in fact have a democracy. 1992 constitution says the most secure democracy is one that assures for people the basic necessities of life. We do not have even that. There's nothing that has secured this for the democracy. We live in a country where a president can, can weaponize the national security agencies to go and kidnap his lover in order to retrieve the pictures of himself. Where activists are consistently under the peril of their life for freedom. This is not a substance of country that can shape the this is not a substance we should be reduced to. We are demanding more and we are demanding better. As it is within our democracy. Um, he also laid down their plans for the demonstration, the route that will be taken, and the form and the nature of this um, three-day demonstration, which really um, is a rarity in terms of our democratic politics. And even for the Fix the Country campaign, it was the first time they were doing a three-day continuous form of demonstration. And so he used the opportunity uh, to speak on how they expected uh, this uh, demonstration to take place. So in terms of the activities we have outlined, outlined so then we are all gathering here at the 37 Trotro station. Our expectation is that by 8, 8 we we'll start proceeding towards the occupied or Cholopi house, where we are going to be occupying and picketed there throughout today. Then tomorrow is where we have educational activities, where we are teaching people about the constitutional rights, what it is the civic responsibility of citizens are in the democracy. And then on the last day, which is the final day, we're screening documentaries about the freedom of the of the independent struggle and how people have mobilized in order to show us what is at stake in order to protect the democracy. Okay, so so for today, no lectures on it. are just going to be stationed there. Today is not going to be lectures. Today is an opportunity for those who are present to put at the presidency to remind them of the shame that they are bringing onto our democracy. That's the purpose uh, of today's activity. And you'll be dead. The entire day. Yes, we intend to be the entire day. What we have, what we have informed the police will be doing is that it's a three-day continuous demonstration. So we are occupying the space for three days. That's what's going to happen. So when you get there, you just put on the president. What would you be doing? I mean, are you going to? No, we are just. I mean, it's the people's house in Jubilee House, and so we are going to be at the forefront of the Jubilee House, where we are going to be stationed. And for us, there's no, there's no attempt or any interest in gaining access to the grounds of of, of Jubilee House itself. No. It's always been clear that we are stationed at the forefront and we are occupying that space. That sense of occupation and ownership is the message we want to send. That citizens can walk up to the space to, to vent and to be able to draw attention.
and within the twinkle of an eye they moved and started arresting some members of the fix the country uh, coalition uh, the argument from the police side was that they had placed an injunction on the demonstration and so the members of the fix the country camp uh, team who were there were there uh, their presence there was unlawful and so that is why they were being arrested in fact at some point some journalists also were arrested as well. Almost anybody at all who was present there was arrested. The police were interested in making sure that they broke up the gathering, they broke up any uh, attempt uh, uh, to, to embark on the demonstration. And so uh, in, their, in, their, in their goal of doing this, or in their attempt to do this, they just arrested anybody on, on site that they saw over there. Um, Oliver Baker, Boma was the head of the, or one of the conveners of the Fix the Country campaign. He was arrested. Uh, some of the leaders, members of the coalition, and people who had come to uh, demonstrate were all arrested. They were put in the police bars and then taken to the Great Accra Regional Police Headquarters. Uh, the bars that is over here is where those who are demonstrating have been taken. They've not been allowed to go in. They believe that it is illegal and so they have to be prevented. So they've been taken. So as you can see, the police are here. The police are very prepared. You see the bus moving, they've taken them going. So the people who were here to demonstrate for Fix the Country are no more here. Uh, they've been taken in the police bus. And we spoke to one of the officers. He says they are going to the, uh, the headquarters and then they'll take it from there. Thank you.